Your high concept idea should be very simple, an idea you could describe in one sentence. So we're going to talk about high concept films and also character driven films. And I'm not casting aspersions on the small indie films. They're, um, some of them are, are my absolute favorite. But I would uh, defy you to pitch in a, a single sentence, the kids are all right, or Little Miss Sunshine, or Best Exotic Marigold Hotel, which I just saw, which was extremely entertaining. That is part of uh, what a high concept film is, describing it and pitching it in one sentence. So if it's too complex or too um, watered down, and you can't do it in one sentence, it's probably not high concept material. It may be wonderful uh, indie material uh, or uh, a very small um, uh, film that would you know, uh, uh, go in an art house, but it's not high concept. So again, I want to, before you start writing, I want to make sure everything is fully vetted, including your idea and your research. So if you do come up with a great idea, and I will be showing you how, um, I want to make sure, and you want to make sure, that it's not already in the works or it has been done. So of course, seeing movies is very important, but do your research. And online is uh, so many resources for uh, screenwriting and uh, the business of selling, which is called Hollywood. So first, you can go to trackingd.com, and you could see all the um, current sales of screenplays, what's selling, who's bought what. So it's also great, great information when you start your, your pitching and uh, trying to sell your screenplay. But Tracking B um, has all the ideas that sold and a quick log line. I will go over what that is later of the project. So uh, that's great information. And if you see your project there or something very similar, reconsider, hang back, and think of another idea because it's already been sold. So uh, I hope to give you research information here and you do yours so you are not disappointed or after writing a script for several months, it's already been done. DeadlineHollywood.com, it also has a lot of the same information. It is sort of the go-to source for Hollywood. Uh, uh, Nikki Fink is uh, brilliant at getting the facts and the story behind the story. If you want to know what Angelina Jolie's engagement ring looks like, that's not the site. It is really um, uh, prescient information about the business. And I think you should be reading that blog every day. She gets millions of hits, and it's essential to your screenwriting business knowledge. The Hollywood Reporter, uh, of course, .com, they're online, uh, also uh, lists what the sales are and brief descriptions. And imdb.com, uh, and of course, Pro. Pro is a very inexpensive subscription each month, and you can get all the latest information on what is sold by genre, by uh, who sold it, who write it, who wrote it, and of course, a brief description of the plot. So please do your research. You don't want to have heartbreak and uh, pour that uh, energy into something, and, and it's already been written. The other part of uh, part uh, the essential part of uh, high concept is a tell-all title. And what is that? Uh, a lawyer must tell the truth in 24 hours. What title do you think that would be? Liar, Liar by Jim Carrey. So a title is essential. It tells exactly what it is about. Uh, another example of a title is Snakes on a Plane. You know exactly what's going to happen. It's about snakes on a plane. Uh, another uh, example is a mad dad scientist shrinks his kids. What do you think that title would be? Yes, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. So again, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, perfect. You know exactly what you're going to get. Um, it tells exactly what the film is about, and it encapsulates the high concept idea perfectly. Again, uh, the museum exhibits come alive at night. What do you think that would be? Of course, Night at the Museum. Uh, again, it's about a night at the museum. It, you could uh, read the title from the uh, newspaper ad or see the commercial, and when you go, it's exactly what you're going to see. An example of a non-high concept title would be Mila's Sense of Snow, a very good complex film, but you could see the difference between Night at the Museum and Mila's Sense of Snow. Um, 
However, again, um, not all films are high concept and cannot be pitched in a sentence. And again, that is absolutely fine. Examples are uh, character-driven films. Some character-driven films are The Kids Are All Right um, and Little Miss Sunshine. Uh, two, one of my, two of my favorite films, I truly enjoy them, but again, it defies that one sentence high concept um, description. So please know the difference, and if you're driven to write a character uh, film, please do so. Um, do it, write it, enjoy it, then put it in your draw, close it, and execute your high concept idea. Because I can tell you, once you um, sell a high concept idea, then launching your other smaller scripts, such as um, your character driven uh, story, would be a heck of a lot easier. So again, I'm just uh, showing you the difference between the two. And if we look at the top five films of all time, they're all high concept ideas. Avatar at 760 plus million, Titanic at 658 plus million, The Avengers, which is still in the theaters, which will probably pass Titanic at this point, 611, The Dark Knight, 533 million, and finally Star Wars still hangs in there at 474 million. All high concept ideas and all four-quadrant films. And that's something that we'll also be talking about, four-quadrant films, what audiences are ideal for uh, high concept. So let's take the hook test. Let Again, I mentioned hook. It's uh, an idea that's uh, unique, original, compelling, 